Hello guys, welcome to the channel. Uh, here I am again. It's been a while since I made another video. And I was going to make a video on that Sunday for uh, Split Paul, and I ended up not doing that. I met a druid that actually power leveled me two levels just on their own goodwill. I didn't pay for any services or anything like that. Just encountered me out in the open world and uh, was like, hey, you should go hit up Kazakh Thule. And I was like, well, I've never been to Kazakh Thule before, so why not? Sure. He gave me a port. Uh, I didn't have to pay for anything. No donations, nothing required. Helped me get through 31, 32. I got through 33 on my own here. And it's a nice, it's a neat little place, a neat little spot. Let me show you guys what I'm talking about. Um, go down through the tube. You don't really need enduring breath here. Um, you can if you if you're more comfortable if your swimming skills not up to par, you can get it. Uh, there's tons of gators here. They are KOS, so if your invis drops, you're screwed. Um, if you let one of the gators get in the pool, you're screwed. Uh, let's try not to let that happen. And you go through this little tunnel. Don't sit near the water's edge. You'll have two gators that spawn here. I've already killed some gators. I had to actually gate out. Uh, uh, the unthinkable happened, and one of those gators slipped past uh, this torch and or these torches and wound up in the pool. Uh, the front pool is for the lower level gators. Uh, don't quote me on the levels. I'm not sure what those are, but I know they're the lower level gators. And the back pool is the higher level gators. So that's the gators that we're interested in. Um, it's it's a fairly empty zone right now. It's off peak. It's 3 a.m. in the morning here on the East Coast, so not anyone playing really. Um, and even when there are people playing, there's it's almost like 90% that no one is going to be here. So it's a great area for level 30 through 36. I'm gonna try to get through the rest of this level. In this video, I might be able to, may not. It just depends on how the game is tonight for me and how everything goes. Um, how the RNG plays out. That's kind of important sometimes. I'm going to go ahead and put my troll illusion on so I can get a little bit of a benefit from the regeneration. That's just in case my rune breaks and I uh, start getting wailed on by the gators. They actually kick. I didn't know gators could kick. Ha. In the game, they can. And there we go. We got Troll on. What else do we need? We got Tash. We got Gate in case things go south. We got both our nukes. We got Beguile. We have Enthrall. What else could I possibly use? Oh, I need Obscure as well. Just go ahead and buff myself with Obscure. Um, yeah, I've been into some other games here lately. I bought uh, Dragon's Dogma from the Game Pass store on Xbox. I gave it a shot, and I really like the game. It's interesting. It's an interesting story so far. I'm not that far through the game. I'm only, like, level 14. Um... But it's pretty cool, you know. You kind of have your own little party, and they're called pawns, and you create your own pawn. You can hire, like, two more pawns to go with, go by your side. And uh, they're basically cell swords, mercenaries that don't really have, like, a willpower or a soul. They're just kind of like... I don't know if they don't have a soul or not, but they don't have willpower like humans do. And so that's part of the story. And you're, you're trying to track down this dragon, and I'm not going to give too much away, but... Um, yeah, something really cool happens in the beginning. And so Dragon Dog Dragon's Dogma 2 is coming out on March 22nd, and I'm definitely going to buy that and play it. I may play it for the PC, uh, so yeah, be looking for some stuff there. I may get that for the PC. Baldur's Gate I'm a little undecided on. I like sitting on my couch and just kind of relaxing and kicking my feet up, propping my feet up on a pillow and, and just gaming like the old days, I don't much less, I mean, I, I like PC gaming and everything, but it, it, it's kind of a, it's kind of a chore to sit here in this old, old chair, 
Uh, I really need another chair here soon. Uh, I'd upgrade on that. This chair has been with me for many, many years. Uh, it gets uncomfortable. I have to stretch my legs up. So if I get up during this video, uh, please excuse me for that. I have to stretch my legs out. I'm looking for something here, and I can't think. I need strengthen because I'm moving very, very slow. I'm encumbered. Might as well just wait on the, the, the two gators here. At the beginning. Uh, I, hey, before I get into that, so I need, what else do I need? Attach. Versus Simple Mind. I guess, um, AOE Mez, in case shit hits the fan. I don't know. Okay. So the gator is going to come. And there's something cool here I was going to get into. This rod of insidious glamour acts like a telescope. So the cosmic, cromsic, cro whatever, telescope. Ah, oh, shit. Did you get Invelius? at the giant temple, whatever that place is called. Now, I can't remember what it's called. Um, can't think of what the hell that place is called now. I've been there many times. Good Lord. Why? Why? Just why, you know? Why? That's the gator that I'm concerned with. But you kill through here. The back pool is what you need to focus on. There is a named mob back there. It's a lizard man. He's very dangerous. Uh, it can be very detrimental to your to your case, your campaign, whatever word you want to use, because he can con red to you even at this level. So you definitely have to take care. If you're a badass enchanter, though, which I am far from, uh, you might be able to be okay on your own and take him. Shoot. Perfect. That was like the perfect timing. I couldn't have been better. These guys drop mage focus items. So they drop like the Earth Page of Mastery. They drop a torch. There's some other things. My bags are so full. I'm not going to go through them right now because I'm really trying to focus on what I'm. What, oh, shoot. Yeah, remember how I told you guys when when stuff breaks, you don't don't want to have it go into the pool. Yeah, that was almost bad. That was almost bad. Okay, we got three here. I don't want to. I don't want to mess with it, man. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. I'm just going to wait with the skater here. 
be on the safe side. I know I can AOE Miz, but I'm at 62% life, which is not good. Wait, I'm at 84. I can't read. <laughs> I can't see. I need glasses. Um, I actually have glasses, so I wear contacts. But yeah, we're going to wait till he patrols back. We're going to wait a second. Wait a second. Give it a second. Give it another second. Okay. Load up a mimbler. I don't want stuff to go south. Come on! Oh my god. That's not going to be good. Okay, we're fine. We're off. Oh, man, I have to take deep breaths in here sometimes. It's a little dangerous. Okay, we're good. But this place is an incredible experience, though. Uh, I really like places like this, uh, Synthrax, Sithrax, whatever camp, uh, the Undead, Camp and Field of Bone. I made a video on it a long time ago. And if you tash the mobs, found out from my um, enchanter slash druid friend, he has he has like he has like eight level sixties, um, but. The guy that that helped me get my levels, get two of my levels, he pretty much just logs in. Uh, he's got a power leveling service, but he just helps people out, just out of the kindness of his heart. Uh, no reason at all. No reason. Just, I feel like helping this person out today. Uh, fate has it that we meet in game, and so I'm going to help you. And that's what happened to me. I was kind of taking a break in the Split Paul Tunnel when he just appeared out of nowhere. And that's how I met the guy. So, really cool about how you can meet people on Project 1999 on the server and how nice they are to you. And just the overall community is the best. Um, I wouldn't trade it for anything. Now, there's a lot of people that I know. There's um, someone I know personally that's done the raids and the in-game. And they say that P99 is just way too toxic on the end game and for the rating and stuff like that and I would tend to agree when you read the forums if you've ever been on the project 1999 forums you know what I'm talking about it's it's kind of a shit show sometimes guilds get banned from doing raids uh, I don't even know how long um, some of the bans are or for um, but they get banned from doing certain content and uh, they're not able to do like golems and uh, uh, what is it uh, it's not hate it's playing a fear they're not able to do the fear golems and I think recently he was telling me something about how they nerfed golems again on P99 like they actually nerfed the golems so 
now not only does everybody need a, a child's tear for their epic for the shaman, but it's even harder to it's even more difficult to get one. Uh, and the price, of course, that drove the price up uh, for where it was at. I think I want to say that I remember the tier had dropped down to like 80k platinum or something like that, or 70 to 80k platinum, and that was with uh, your own raid force, your own force that you bring with you, and somebody would take you through, and they would have uh, the rights to the mob and everything and the guild. It, it's kind of weird how the rights work. Um, it's kind of a little, a little shysty how that that works. Like, we have the right to raid this. You guys don't. Y'all can raid it on Tuesday night or the weekend or whatever. And uh, we have the right to the golems. It's, it's, it's kind of strange. Um, so I, I tend to stay out of all that. I've done a little bit of raiding. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I'm rambling. I've done some raiding, but it's not, like, big-time raids. I killed Tunair in a guild once. I got a breastplate from Tunair, uh, from um, the actual god in the game. Pretty cool. It's on Kazrax. It's that one that gives you like Riotus health. Riotus health. Uh, it's a shaman buff that gives you stamina. Click it and it pretty much gives it to you. It's, it's pretty sweet. It's got a lot of great stats on it. It's almost like a, it's almost com comparable to like an epic item or something like that, you know, in World of Warcraft. If you want to use that comparison, there's that Gator again, just in the nick of time, huh? Ah, I'm gonna have to abandon the pet, man. This ain't good. I need to put Rune on. Before I get myself killed. That's what I'm missing. Rune. Damn it. Missing something. Couldn't figure it out in the beginning now. Now I'm getting beat on, I know what it is I'm missing. Getting beat on is not fun. Right. Finally fixed the tab targeting thing. For the longest time, people were like, just tab target, bro, just tab target. And I was like, what are you talking about? So I went into settings, and that guy actually helped me figure it out. It's like a very specific setting in there in your options that you have to have turned on. I'm not going to go through that right now, but you want to make sure it targets uh, enemy NPCs, I think it is. Um, it's what you want to make sure of. So I had to toggle that on, and I'm able to tab target it. It really helps with distinguishing who your pet is uh, when you're fighting, when you have two of the same mob like I do now, like both alligators, how can I tell? And I especially had to figure that out when he was power level me because... He got a whole bunch of low health, and uh, some of them actually died because I wasn't on the right mob. But okay, it's root. Step away. Just gonna wait for the big nuke. That's good. That's nice. And I may have mentioned it before, but the mage items, the mage, I, the mage mastery items, I did mention it. I said my inventory was full. I wasn't gonna go through it. But now that I got some time, oh, we got a little bit of time. Let's go through it. Let's take a break right by this torch here and <clears throat> show you guys my bags that are full. <laughs> Stuff like this. Torn page of Mastery Earth drops here. I'm not sure what it's used for. I didn't research it out after the guy told me and gave me a heads up. It's like, you know, mage, mage Mastery items drop here. 
I was just like, oh, cool. Um, trying to find the other one. There's a torch. Ah, ah, there's a torch. That's one of them. Torn page of mastery water. I'm sure there's torn page of mastery air as well. And these are really, these are no drop. I'm not even sure what I, what the heck I can do. Those things. I have to, I'll have to figure it out. Uh, drop a rune off. Let's get a clean rune going. Get a clean rune going, you know. Gate for now. In place of clarity. And just just be cognizant in this area. If you come here by yourself, just be very cognizant of what's going on around you at all times and and spawns and um, the back pool. Don't go too far without invis. Don't venture too far. Period. Unless you want to die. <laughs> Or unless you're a badass enchanter and you're way better than I am. I'm sure there's lots of people out there that are better than me because I think I just flat out suck sometimes as an enchanter. Uh, you know, um, the fellow after the fellow I was I was teaming up with the other night, uh, not the other night, it was like, gosh, I don't know when that was. It was I guess a week ago, more than a week ago. Has it been two weeks? Two weeks ago? I have to go back and look, but. Uh, he was saying, yeah, I, what I was doing wasn't bad necessarily. Um, was it the most efficient way to play? Probably not. But, um, you know, efficiency, complete efficiency matters to a few players. Um, those that have been in top guilds and stuff like that on the server, that really matters to them. Uh, it's It's not negotiable. Um, having an app, or not an app, but a add-on, it's it's called Gina, and the add-on basically tells you when your Mez is up, Root is coming up, so it's kind of needed in groups. So I've been trying to just stick to solo play at the moment before I download that stuff. Um, really just trying to stick um, to this solo play. I'm more of a solo player anyway, uh, you know. I uh, just always have been. I enjoy groups. Groups can be fun, and, you know, no doubt. I've taken this character into uh, unrest before and got a group, and it was it was fun. It was fun watching my entire team become killing machines when I buffed them up with haste, <laughs> and I had everything controlled and locked down and mez down, and we were killing one mob at a time. That that was pretty fun. Yeah, you know, I was tossing the occasional nuke out there, and I had breeze. Man, I thought I was the, I thought I was the bee's knees because I had that spell breeze. Um, yeah, the breeze is the first one that you get that helps with your uh, mind in the game that gives you mana back. And now I got clarity. I got something way better. And then you get clarity too, and, you know, later on. I get some pretty sweet spells at 34, though. Some pretty cool stuff. I can actually transform into a fire elemental, which is pretty uh, badass. Can't wait for uh, the water elemental one. That's going to be fun. I just like the skin. The water skin, you know. I, I just like it. That old that old texture. The old character textures. is They're the best, in my opinion. Gosh, this game just it brings back so, much, so many memories for me. So many good memories. I wouldn't trade it for anything, you know. Spending hours on end on the computer when I was younger, playing the game. Uh, this game really helped me with my vocabulary as well in school. Um, chatting, you're, you're on here online chatting with other people. Uh, you're chatting with some adults. They're using words maybe you hadn't heard before uh, when you were a, a um, when you were a child or whatever. You're on here and you're like 10, 11 years old, like I was, and you're like, wow, what, what does that mean, you know? And 
you just you learn a lot and then the dialogue from the NPCs as well you you learn quite a bit from uh reading quests or just hailing somebody and they have a whole big box of text that you have to read um reading your epic weapon quest going through all that and using your imagination and stuff things like that Right, that's good. I think I can finish him with that lower level nuke. What am I doing? No. I, I kind of feel like I'm on fire right now. Like I'm on a roll at the moment, and I like it. I'm going to use the smaller nuke. Wait for it. Wait for it. Hash these. Look at that experience, though. Goodness gracious. Here's the back pool. It looks like it's poisoned, but it's not. Oh, there's the shovel. There's the shovel. Man, I, it's got me wanting to play a mage now. It's got me wanting to play a mage again. I may make a mage. I may do that. It's for my next character. Kind of a, kind of put the Shadow Knight on hold for a bit and, and uh, focus on a mage whenever I, I have some free time for that. It's, it has me willing to play a mage for some reason. I don't know. And the bad part about it is, I, I, I think you guys know on this channel, but I deleted my uh, magician that I had because I just got so frustrated and couldn't figure anything out. This is when... It's when I first came back to the game. Uh, so this must have been like quite a while ago. This was like eight years ago, I'd say. Seven, eight years ago, maybe. Um, I was playing on there and I had Magma Car. Uh, and he was my first character that I created and I was serious about on P99 on the server right here on Blue. I made him before I made Kazrax, and then I started I started Kazrax, and I was like, well, I'm gonna start this Ixar Shaman and see where this goes. Ended up loving it. Ended up loving it. Just falling in love completely, head over heels with Kaz, uh, and continuing that on. And then once I got Kaz progressed on so far up the line, it was like, okay, well now I have to do something, and I don't enjoy playing my magician anymore, so. Slash delete. <laughs> Regret it now, but you can only have so many character slots unless you have another account. But what I might do is I might try to go on there and create another account and just use that separate account. Like, start from scratch, you know? The way I have nothing, I don't have anything at all, zero, and just see what happens. Or I could just delete my paladin. I, the the pally I started, I could I could do that. Okay, let's look at the back pool here, and you're gonna need invisibility here for this. Just for a second, you're gonna want to put gate back up, but you're gonna want invisibility for this. As soon as you go into this pool don't want to be seen by a bunch of gators get attacked so do that try to aim for try to grab this guy oh no 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 what am i doing what am i doing what am i doing shit oh god Oh god. Um I'm st I'm stunned. Crap. All right. Oh god. Okay. 
Close. That's not my pet. Okay. Alright. Alright. Gate is up. I need rune. I have to have rune right now. I gotta have it. I gots to have it. This is why I need Gina. Doing good. Doing good. Fuck! Fail me. It failed me. Well, that's that's unfortunate, you know. Doing really good, and then that happens. Yeah, that sucks. Gate failed. Gate failed the last second, too. That was my only saving grace, was that damn gate, and it just collapsed. Stupid. Absolutely stupid. Ah, I don't have stupid bloodstones. I'll have to focus on getting my experience back. I lost like, what What was that, like 11%? Something like that? Sucks. It's like, it's like the game works against you. The lower and lower on HP you get, the game's like, ah, 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 I want to kill him, I want to kill him! You know? Like, I want to kill him! Like, 
Oh my god, he's so he's so he's close to he's close to death. He's close to death. Get him, get him, get him, get him. You know, it's like the game knows. It's like the game under the game knows when shit's hitting the fan and you're about to die. So, and your gate collapses and then. And then your and then your root gets resisted all the time, and there's nothing you can do. I mean, there's a AOE stun as a enchanter. I'm sure that can save your butt. I don't even think I have that right at the moment. I need it. If I don't have it, and I can have it. I need it. Probably don't have it though. Um, all right, going back through the run of death again. Hopefully for the last time before I can get level 34. <sighs> Stinks. I swear, if, if invis drops, man... Just dumb. I'm not worried about getting rest because I can make it up. And there's nobody online right now anyways. So I like it's gonna matter. Back to my to the area I start at. Beginning of the tunnel. Man, every time, every time I get low on health, that's what happens. But that was that was kind of a mess up on my part. That that whole pull, I should have I should have used my brain and thought, okay, what can I do here better? Instead of just using beguile, I should have probably uh, I should have probably um, enthralled one of those guys. At the very least, I couldn't finish the one gator off though. That pisses me off so much. Like it's at seven percent, and that one gator is just whooping your ass, you know. And and you toss a spell on it, and it gets resisted. Of course, I could have I could have uh, tashed, but in the heat of battle, in the heat of the moment, I don't. I'm all jumbled up, and as an enchanter, I'm not sure what the best move is. You know, sometimes it's just like you just take a death. It's part of being an enchanter. Uh, part of being an enchanter. I'm trying to get to the point where I don't take deaths like that. And that's that's quite difficult sometimes.
I'll get it back here soon. Uh, XP flies in this area. Mm, no, not you. God almighty, really? I swear, man. Ridiculous. I might have to gate it. Come on. Don't do this to me now. Uh. 
Okay. Man, that was close. All right. Get my bearings back here. <sighs> I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and end the video here just so I can do this at my own pace. I'm not going to make you guys sit here and watch me or skip through the video uh, through my metting. For some reason, I've lost the ability to uh, pause the video in OBS, so I'm not really sure why. I'll have to dig through and figure out why that option went away. I'm not really sure. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video tonight, or this morning, rather. <laughs> and uh, I'll have more videos coming out. I do apologize. It's been so late since the last one came out. But if you enjoy the content, enjoy Project 99, and... Um, think my videos are good just leave a comment like it subscribe if you want and i'll see you guys on the next one thanks for watching